What's going on guys, Mirai here, back again with another Genshin Impact video, and today's video is going to be a short one, but we finally have more information on Ganyu's banner. Now, Ganyu's banner is going to be dropping on Tuesday, 12th of January, and she will be dropping at 6pm plus 8 GMT. So, the 4 star characters that are coming with her is going to be Xiangling, Xingqiu, and Noel. Now, you guys know that I'm not super excited for Ganyu, but I will still be pulling for her to test her out, so do make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss my livestream. We will be starting our stream at 5pm and once the banner drops at 6pm, we will be doing the test runs as well as pulling for Ganyu. Once again, the times are in Singapore time, so do make sure you convert that to your own time zones. I will be also going through my progress in regards to my preparation for her later in the video. Now, let's talk about the 4 star characters for a little bit. I'm really excited about Noel appearing on this banner this time because I really want Constellation 6 on my Noel, so hopefully we do get her during our pulls. She is at Constellation 3 right now, so I'll need a little bit of luck to get another 3 copies of her. As for Xingqiu, he's currently at C2 right now, and I don't have the resources to be building him, so if we do get him, it's gonna be nice, but I don't think I will be working on him anytime soon. My Xiangling is at Constellation 4, but I'm not too excited about her, so hopefully we don't get too many copies of her. Now moving on to the weapon banner, as expected, we do get the Amos Bow, which is the perfect bow for Ganyu, so if you guys are pulling for her, you can try your luck on the weapon banner as well. Accompanying that is the Skyward Pride, which for now I don't see too much use for, as I do have the Wolf's Gravestone, so I definitely will not be pulling on this banner. Also, we do get some news on Ganyu's story quest, so that will become available together with the banner at 6pm Singapore time. You do have to be AR40 and above to unlock the story quest, and well, I'm excited to try that as well. Unfortunately, it's only going to be available after 6pm, so I think I might not play that on stream, unfortunately. We also have the test runs that feature Ganyu and Xingqiu this time, and that's a little bit weird to be only featuring two characters instead of the usual four, but yeah, do make sure to play test them out for free rewards, especially if you are planning to pull for Ganyu. Like I've mentioned in my Ganyu video, her charged shot mechanics may not be for everyone, so do make sure you test her out before pulling for her. So next we move on to my preparation for Ganyu's banner. Now I have been farming the materials required for her ascension ever since the Albedo's banner drop, so I have um, quite a bit of materials stocked up. I do have 300 heroes with, which I will be using to get her to only level 70 this time because I'm personally not a big fan of her mechanics. And also we do have 20 Horfrost cores that we will be using to get her to ascend and also the Jade Fragments as well. Not to mention we also have the other ascension materials like the Qingxing as well as the Whopper Flower Nectars um, over here. So I do have all her ascension materials prepared and I will be getting her to level 70 on the day itself. So moving on to Ganyu's artifact preparation, in my guide video which you can watch here, I did mention that the Blizzard Strayer set is going to be the best set for her. So we will be taking a look at the uh, artifacts that I have prepared for her. So first up is the flower. So the flower has attack, crit damage and crit rate in its substats with uh, one line of defense which isn't the best. So uh, we will be taking a look at our roles, hopefully we don't go all defense on this artifact. And moving on to the Feather, we have Crit Damage, Attack Percent, which is not too bad, uh, but hopefully we get a nice fourth line. And moving on to the Timepiece, I have Attack Main Stat, uh, Crit Rate, and Flat Attack. Now this is not nearly as good as I want it to be, but uh, it is the best I got, and it is the only Attack Percent Main Stat Timepiece that I have for this set. So I don't have a choice and I will be using this on Ganyu. And as for her goblet, I will be using the Cryo Damage Goblet uh, with Crit Damage and Attack Percent. And also for the Circlet, uh, this is my worst piece by far, but it is the only piece that has Crit Damage as main stat, and the other pieces are just really really bad. So uh, it is unfortunate that I will not be able to try her out with a Crit Rate Circlet, but not to worry, we will be making up for that. Uh, with her weapon. So for Ganyu's weapon, I will be using the Skyward Heart to test out Ganyu. Now, like I've said in my previous videos, the Amos Bow is the best weapon for her, but if you do not have the Amos Bow and you have the Skyward Heart, feel free to use this on her as it will work just fine. 
Now, if you are looking for four star options, uh, your best bet will be the prototype Crescent, which is craftable. Or alternatively, you can use the Verdison Hunt or even the Black Cliff Bow is pretty good as well. So like I've said previously, we will be pulling for Ganyu as soon as her banner drops and we will be playtesting her live. So if you don't want to miss that, do make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.